we have a question from the audience that um, either of you just jump in and do it. Uh, um, I don't know if you're able to read it also, but I, I will read it. Uh, I, I am currently on pomelis 2 milligrams, daratumumab, and prednisone for one year and doing well. I also do alternative medicines, including taking cordyceps, which someone will have to tell me. I don't know what that is, but um, maybe one of uh, my panelists does. The cordyceps makes me feel better, but I read that people with myelogenous cancer should not take it. Is multiple myeloma a myelogenous cancer? Right. I think I just typed in the answer because I wasn't sure if we were getting to it. But just, just to make that clear, um, Dr. Ruiz in his beginning slide had shown this sort of chart that shows myelogenous originating cancer, I mean, the myeloid origin of white blood cells and lymphoid origin of white blood cells. So typically any cancer that comes from that myeloid portion is, they tend to be leukemias, myelodysplastic syndromes, MPNs or myeloproliferative uh, neoplasms, et cetera. Myeloma and lymphoma tend to be lymphoid diseases, but I think that clarifying that science part aside, I think what all of us as physicians would advise you is that you know, any supplement you take would need to be vetted by your oncologist and also your oncology pharmacist because they are far more familiar than all of us, I would want to say, with the exact kind of drug interactions that the particular supplement will have and especially the dose you take and the frequency you take. Um, I am, I've had so far one patient who has had cordyceps and cordyceps is like this fungal derived protein that people take, particularly for fatigue is what my understanding is. Um, but, you know, I think when that patient came, what we did was, you know, our pharmacist went through all the supplements they took and then they um, kind of said, okay, this is the dose that's okay. But anytime you take any drug, please disclose it to your oncologist. I can't emphasize more on that. Correct. Uh, this are lympho uh, <clears throat> lymphoma myeloma report on the lymphoid part. That's the reason I just kind of wanted to show that sort of different algorithm, stem cells, myeloid, and the lymphoid part. Um, yes, the cordycep is basically more of a protein derivative, as Dr. Tanika said. Yes, indeed. I think we come across, of course, exceptionally, but some patients do it for protein supplementation, circular extra, um, so trying to avoid complications associated with perhaps the conditioning, this, you know, and so forth. Uh, recommendation as always, uh, talk to your pharmacist, make sure your oncologist knows about this to avoid some interactions that we don't want 